Shalom, shalom. So last time we talked about Victor Hotef and the creation of the Davidian Seventh-day Adventist Church. Victor continued to lead the Davidians, and they pretty much just did their own thing until his death in 1955. Now, there were two people who were eyeing for power of the Davidians at the time of his death. One of these people was a man named Benjamin Rodin, who had been a follower of Victor's and was a member of the Davidians. After Victor's death, Benjamin received what he believed to be a message from God, telling him that there were things within the Davidian faith that they hadn't gotten quite right and needed to be addressed. Much like Victor, Benjamin wrote all of this down in letters, which he signed The Branch. Another contender for the leadership role was Victor's wife, Florence, who ended up being a doomsday prophet, prophetess. She believed that shit was going to hit the fan in April of 1959. Part of the Davidian congregation stayed with Florence, and the rest left with Benjamin Rodin to create a new sect, which became known as the Branch Davidian Seventh-day Adventists. In 1957, in preparation of Doomsday, Florence sold the Mount Carmel Center and all of the property that the Davidians owned in order to buy over 900 acres 13 miles away, which she named the new Mount Carmel Center. When April 1959 came and went and Doomsday didn't happen, Florence was ousted out of the position of leadership and Benjamin Rodin took possession of the entire property. From that point on, the property was simply known as Mount Carmel and was occupied by the Branch Davidian Seventh-day Adventists. Benjamin led the Branch Davidians for almost two decades until his death in 1978, at which time his wife Lois stepped into the role of prophet. Three years later, a 22-year-old David Koresh moved to Waco, Texas and became a member of the Branch Davidian Seventh-day Adventist Church. He played his guitar and sang during worship service, and he was well-liked by the congregation. In 